done things different is a phrase that pops into my head every day. Hey, what's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Coming in at number 10, it's kind of like a late entry. Uh, gonna have to be this anime called Erased. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, this anime is called Erased. I first watched it on <clears throat> Netflix. It's a 12 episode anime and it is off the chain. I loved it. Touched the heart, heart strings. I'm always a fan of going back in time animes. You love watch Stein Gate. This kind of it's kind of got a Stein Gate feeling to it. Uh, this anime ain't gonna spoil too much. It starts off with this guy. He's just a regular guy just going to work every day, and all of a sudden he figured out that he can time travel. He can basically just go back in the past, kind of like Tokyo Revengers. But this is a great anime. It's short and it ain't but 12 episodes. And uh, one of these days I'm gonna have to find a physical copy of this and buy it. And I don't watch this two or three different times, and it's good. And it's got one of the best anime intros you have uh, you will ever see. And here in your life. I'm tearing it up, but you know what I'm saying. Like I said, you got a good anime intro, nine times out of ten, you got me hooked. So coming in, ladies and gentlemen, at number ten on my top twenty favorite anime of all time. This has to be the anime called Erased. All right, ladies and gentlemen, coming in at number nine. This one kind of snuck in on me. I never thought that uh, anime would be this good to crack my top ten. Coming in, ladies and gentlemen, this ain't this is an anime I just recently watched. I either came, I think it came out last year or this year. I can't remember. It's out on Netflix. Though. It was a Netflix original. I didn't think they could crack my top ten, but coming in, ladies and gentlemen, number nine is Lookism. Wow, now Lookism, if I know I ain't the only one out there. Growing up, I was bullied. I was one of the people that was bullied because of my size and because I didn't look like the general nice looking guy or whatever. And this anime stars an overweight dude that pretty much just start off where he on the bathroom floor and they making this man bark like a dog. People, you people, narcissistic a-holes out there that treat people like this, y'all need to have y'all a work. It's messed up how y'all do us. So I could really relate to this anime because I've been bullied growing up. And this guy, overset, over, heavyset guy was bullied. And one day, he just got bullied so much, he went home, went to sleep, and he wakes up in the body of like a skinny looking dude, muscular looking dude, and he's a whole nother person. During the daytime, he's a, you know, your cool looking, handsome guy, but at nighttime he get turned back into his regular self was a heavy set dude. And it show you how people treat you just because the way you look. Now people go, will sit up here and lie to y'all day. Looks don't matter. People don't treat you a certain way. Yes they do. If you don't look a certain way, they, they treat you different. Because this guy's a big heavy set guy and just because he's heavy set and don't look the way you 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 all other people look he get picked on, bullet and everything. And this is one of the greatest animes I've seen in my life. It's nine great episodes. And it just show you that whole dynamic of lookism. I mean, the title speaks for itself. Is that because you don't look a certain way, they treat you like dog crap. But if you look like them, because the same, I ain't spoiler alert, it's kind of spoiler, but one of the girls in there, when he was big and, and overweight, they treat him like garbage. But once he turned into a whole different person, they didn't realize he was a whole different person. She treated him like he the best thing in the world. Pretty much, if he asked her, she would have sex with him. That's how she treated him. Just because he didn't, he looked a certain way. But um, this anime hit home, man. I enjoyed it. It cracked my top ten. I never thought that I would watch an anime, a current anime, that cracked my top ten. And one of my nine episodes, man. But this anime needs to continue, man. Because they left it open. Cause you like at the end of the nine episodes, you're like, man, you left one. What happened to him? What happened to him? What happened to her? Great anime, ladies and gentlemen. People that have been bullied. You want an anime that really speaks to you about how you be you treated and get bullied all the time? This anime will help you. Watch Lookism, ladies and gentlemen. I love Lookism. Like I said, I never thought I'd see a new anime that cracked the top ten. Lookism, ladies and gentlemen. Coming in at number nine is Lookism. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, 
coming in, ladies and gentlemen, number eight has to be Stein Gate. Wow. Now, this will crack my top ten, too. I didn't ever expect. Let's see if I got Stein Gate over here somewhere. I got it somewhere here. But, never, ladies and gentlemen, I never thought I'd watch an anime to crack my top ten like this. Because this ain't used to be my top ten. This is a kind of current anime, but I think it came out in 2011. Stein Gate is an anime about time travel. And it's crazy doctor. I like him. He's the main character. Uh, he pretty much keep going back in time to try to stop uh, his evil organization in the future that's pretty much trying to take over the world. And he's trying to stop his love of his life from getting killed like that. Because he keep getting killed and he keep having to go back in time and just try to stop it from happening. And Stein Gate, ladies and gentlemen, is a great anime, time travel anime. Have you ever want, wished that you had a time machine and you can go back time, in time and do things differently? I wish that all the time, ladies and gentlemen. There's certain things I wish I'd go back in time and do differently. There's one thing I would go back in time and change. Only one thing. <laughs> only, only one thing i go back in time and change. But this guy, every time he go back in time, he end up getting all the memories of what happened in the time period. Everybody else don't remember, you know, the time does what it does is correct itself but when he keeps going back in time he remember what happened you know he remember a scenario where this happened he remember a scenario where that happened he remember a scenario where this happened and ladies and gentlemen just a great anime and then Stein Gate Zero takes place like this is a, like a what if this happened like if, if that happened this is what happened Stein Gate Zero is a kind of continuation if this happened in the story Stein Gate Zero is a continuation of pretty much like a time travel. It's what happened if he had to chose this path? This is what happens in Stein Gate Zero. And man, it's a great anime. I heard they made some video games off of it. They got Stein Gate Zero video game. I own that on PS4. Then they got Stein Gate. Uh, it's based off a of graphic novel, I think. Graphic novel and a story that there's, I think they made a couple of video games out of it. But ladies and gentlemen, if you get a chance, Go watch Stein Gate. I don't know where you can watch that, but this is a great anime to watch. Coming in, ladies and gentlemen, number eight is Stein Gate. A boy trains diligently. Soon, he will become a man. Ladies and gentlemen, coming in at number seven, ladies and gentlemen, shout out to Toonami again, has to be the Tenshi Muyo Saga. Wow, now I do have Tenshi Mui over here. Let me see if I can pull him out real quick. Tenshi Mui, like, good, I don't want to come out. Leave me where I'm at. Leave me where I'm at. No, I got to pull you out, Tenshi Mui. Wow, now Tenshi Mui, ladies and gentlemen, great saga to have. Uh, I watched this on, the, like I said, Toonami. They got Tenshi Mui, the original Tenshi Mui. Then you got Tenshi Universe. Then you got Tenshi in Tokyo. Each story. It's like a different version of Tenshi doing different things. And uh, Tenshi, the original Tenshi Muyo, you got Tenshi Muyo, Ryoko, um, Ayaka, Washu, and a whole bunch of girls, Miyos, Mihoshi, all of them pretty much love Tenshi. <laughs> and all of them, he lived in, uh, in Japan with all these different women and Man, I wish I could be a teacher world. But out of all the girls uh, that's in the show, my favorite is uh, Ryoko, Space Pirate. She one of my favorites. She's the hottest one in my opinion. Oh! I mean, but yeah, like I was saying before I ruled in real quick. Tenshi Muyo, ladies and gentlemen. Great, great, great anime to have. Uh, I think they, Tenshi Muyo, they kept it going. Because pretty much every time you watch Tenshi, he's doing a different thing. They got Tenshi Muyo, regular Tenshi Muyo, and Rio Oki, and that's the storyline. Then you got, uh, like I said, Tenshi, Tenshi Universe, that's the storyline. I'll get straight in a second, y'all. Act up on me, Y'all act up on me. Why you acting up on me? Come on. There we go. Um... Then you got the Tenshi Muyo movies. They made some great movies. Each storyline is different. You know, the Tenshi universe is different. And, uh, let me see if I can get this. Get this 
straight, y'all. There we go. I think I got it straight. Each, each Tenshi Muyo universe is different. Man. I enjoy it, ladies and gentlemen. Shout out to Toonami. <laughs> One for Toonami. I went and learned about a lot of these anime, ladies and gentlemen. Good. Uh, got some action in it, adventure, and a little love story, love triangle going on in it. So, one of those good old feel good anime. Like I said, there's <clears throat> different versions of attention. Attention, like you got Tenshi Muyo, Tenshi in, in, in the Universe, you got Tenshi, uh, what's that, Tenshi in Tokyo, then you got uh, Tenshi Jiraiya Wars, that's one of the new ones that they made. Then they got Tenshi, uh, Galaxy Police Force, which stars not Tenshi, but it's, I think his cousin or something, and he's in it, and it's pretty tight, ladies and I love all of them. I can't, I, I can't hate on none of them. All of them are great. That's why I couldn't really separate it in my top 10. Love them all, ladies and gentlemen. That, that intro, shout out to Nami. Intro, outro, great music. Music that get me hooked on anime. Uh, so, ladies and gentlemen, coming in at what number this is? Where we at? Where we at on this list? At, yeah, number seven is the Tenshi Muyo World. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, coming in at number six has to be the other anime that kind of took me by surprise. I did not expect this anime to get me like this, but it did. Uh, Dragonop. Wow, this one kind of snuck up on me and caught me by surprise. Ladies and gentlemen, this anime is about dragons. Pretty much the whole story is about, I think his name is Jin, and he falls in love with this girl. And say, you don't have to be alone anymore. You got me, Jen. And uh, she's a dragon. And they fall in love with each other. And like a love story between them two. And then they go on a whole adventure. And it's pretty tight. They got some plot twists in there. I ain't going to tell you what the plot twist is. I ain't going to spoil it for you. But they got a lot of different plot twists in there that you're like, wow, that really happened. And pretty much they come together and they love keep them together. And I made a anime music video out of this one back then and back when I was making those it's on my channel if y'all want to check it out it's on my channel I have a uh, link in the description so y'all can go watch that if you want to but it's a great anime ladies and gentlemen good love story good action got a little Gundamish Gundamish vibes into it ladies and gentlemen and the fan service good fan service in there I'll say that in but a great anime to have and watch I, I recommend you watch it I don't know where you can watch it now but check it out Dragon Out the, Re the Resonance I think that's the name of it great anime ladies we're coming in number six the Dragon Out the Resonance an invincible samurai Kenshin Himura walks the path of wow now, ladies and gentlemen coming in at number five has to be Ronin Kenshin also known you know he got some man, uh, movies out there called Samurai X Kenshin, to this day, is one of the best anime swordsmen in the game, ladies and gentlemen. Kenshin is off the chain. Uh, uh, I can't even say that word. Uh, the Omakamaru, he knew who we were making. <laughs> but uh, one of the best swordsmen in the game, anime swordsmen in the game. Uh, uh, Wandering swordsman, pretty much, he a repentant swordsman. In his older days, he was a killer. He's a killer going around uh, working for, this, for the uh, government and he was a uh, manslayer. Everybody feared Kenshin because they'd be like, if you ever see the man with a cross shaped scar on his cheek, he's the manslayer. Everybody used to be scared of And pretty much this whole story is about him repenting of, of what he did in the past and trying to uh, make amends. And he go around he helping people, uh, helping different people and didn't like the ending to his story. It's, it, the ending to the story kind of sucked. But I think they might have remade the story. The ending, I can't remember if they did or not, but the ending to this whole story sucked. But the anime itself, which is about 93 episodes, uh, was great. This one was on Toonami. Shout out to Toonami once again that put me on this one. And um, I used to watch the long side, Dragon Ball Z, and all that other stuff. But can't, Kenshin was a great anime, ladies and gentlemen. Love, love me some Kenshin. Oh, wow. Some of the greatest uh, 
outros. The intros ain't too good, but the outros off the chain. Great. If you like samurais, you like swordsmen, you need to watch this anime. This is up right up your alley, ladies and gentlemen. Coming in, ladies and gentlemen, number five has to be Ronin Kenshin. Filed into a monster. In the name of the moon, I'll punish you. She is the one named Sailor Moon. She would never turn her back on a friend. She's always there to see me. Trying to get this camera back right. I had it straight, y'all, but this stupid thing fell on me. Y'all know how that goes. But coming in, ladies and gentlemen, number four is Sailor Moon. Wow. Sailor Moon, ladies and gentlemen. Probably was my first anime crush. Serena. She was my first anime crush. And uh, Serena pretty much uh, has all these different powers. She turned to Moon Prince of Magic. And she turned to this um, character, her and the Sailor Scouts. Uh, from the moon and they try to defend the world from all different type of monsters, mon monsters, monsters and just a uh, uh, overall great anime and you know uh, Kara was just a girl in a uh, uh, Japanese skirt so love me some Sailor Moon. Not only that it's just a cutesy great anime. Uh, I think they recently remade Sailor Moon but I haven't been watching those episodes. I heard they destroyed. I tried to watch. I tried to watch some of that new stuff they remade. It ain't got nothing on the original, in my opinion. But uh, great story, ladies and gentlemen. I ain't gonna spoil too much of it. Just sit down and watch. You want some good at anime action and you know action and love story going on at the same time. I want to take out Tuxedo Mask. She was with my woman. <laughs> I ain't playing. Tuxedo mask, get away from my woman. Serena's mine. Oh, this but well, ladies and gentlemen, coming in at number four has to be Sailor Moon. I used to watch this anime. Uh, I used to come on USA of all places. I, USA Network actually had a contract with uh, Sailor Moon. I used to watch it a lot on that. Right before I had to go to school uh, in the morning, I used to watch Sailor Moon right before I had to go to school. But great anime. Coming in at number four is Sailor Moon. Now, you must be living on a rock if you don't know about this one. Coming in, ladies and number three is Naruto. Wow. Now, Naruto, great anime. We're not going to talk about Baruto. Baruto sucks. I tried to sit down and watch Baruto. It was... We're not going to talk about it. His son is one of the biggest disgraces in anime. But this anime, Naruto and Naruto Shipping, which I have yet to finish to this day. I stopped right there at the Pain Saga. I was so happy for Naruto and the Pain Saga, I, I, I stopped there. I need to go ahead and sit down and finish that anime, this anime. I already heard, it already been spoiled to me what happened to on the rest of the series. So that's why probably why I went back and tried to finish watching the anime because people spoiled it to me and I, I said, like, man, ain't no reason to sit down and watch it. But eventually I'm going to sit down and finish out this anime. But Naruto, Naruto shipping. Is one of the greatest animes of all time, ladies and gentlemen. Naruto, believe it, he never gives up. He keeps going despite what people tell him and say he can't do. Naruto gonna keep going. You can throw a, a nuclear bomb at Naruto. If he survives it, he gonna keep going. You gonna have to pretty much, you fight Naruto, you pretty much gonna have to kill Naruto, period. That's the only way you can stop Naruto. You're going to have to kill him. Because <laughs> his heart, he like got one of the greatest hearts in anime. He going to keep going. Naruto, star, if you don't know, uh, you must be living on the rock. But Naruto is about a ninja in the Hidden Leaf Village. Who did not ask for this. Got uh, a demon put inside of him. A seven-tailed beast put inside of him. And everybody just shunned him. Hated him. Did, couldn't stand him and he ended up having to save the village that's crazy the people that get hated on the most are the most probably the most important people in the world <clears throat> and us as people treat them like garbage that's messed up we got to do better ladies and us as people have got to do better Naruto is a great example of that but ladies and gentlemen coming in at number three on my top 20 favorite anime of all time is Naruto oh, 
All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're down to number two. We're down to the last two. Thank you for sticking with me for this long, ladies and gentlemen. Coming in at number two on my list has to be Bleach. Wow. Bleach is an awesome anime, ladies and gentlemen. I need to watch the last part of Bleach that they got going on. I really need to watch it. I need to sit down and watch it. I'm going to let them build up, and then eventually I'll sit down and watch the rest of it. Uh, the new Bleach that they got going on. But Bleach is an awesome anime. Uh, each starts, each go. Soul Reaper, uh, going in Soul Society, killing hollows and great action anime. Got some good anime sequences in it. Uh, got a little, I guess it got a little romance going on in it, but Bleach is a great anime, ladies and Bleach used to get hated on back in the day. I always loved Bleach. Our first problem about Bleach, shout out to 2W. <laughs> Uh, on Toonami block, they were like, Bleach, up. Like, man, this is tight. Ichigo first got his pals and up there killing uh, the, uh, what them things he is. He's a soul reaper, so he's killing hollows, that's it. Like, he killing hollows and there's a whole big storyline, big anime storyline. Bleach has a lot of fillers, but overall, you want a great sword slinging anime, get Bleach. Best weapon based anime out there probably have to be Bleach. Hands down, I gotta get the Bleach. I used to say uh, it was uh, Armor of Wildfire, Dao Chi. I forgot their name, but Bleach is the best. They took sword based anime and took it to a whole nother level, ladies and gentlemen. Bleach is off the chain. Like I said, I got to start back watching the newest Bleach that they got on there so I can see what happened at the end and everything. I love me some Bleach. If you like, please comment down in the comment section, ladies and gentlemen. Comment in, ladies and gentlemen, at number two has to be Bleach. <laughs> all right, ladies and gentlemen, my number one favorite anime of all time is... Can I get a drum roll? I ain't gonna get no drum roll for this, for real. Y'all already know. If y'all know me, y'all know my favorite anime of all time. He is... Gummy bears, I'm just playing. <laughs> dragon, dragon, pop the dragon, Dragon Ball Z, here we go. Now, Dragon Ball Z gets hated on the most. Out of any anime I know in the world, it gets hated on the most. When I first went to my first anime convention, you know, I had my uh, Dragon Ball Z uh, shirt on and my little Naruto headband, because I like both animes. Uh, and Dragon Ball Z got hated on so bad. Everybody there that kept hating on Dragon Ball Z. I'm like, are y'all ready for the shit out here? They hate on Dragon Ball Z? And then they love try to, they hate on Goku the most. I don't know why they hate on Goku so much. Goku is the most pure hearted character out there. I was like, man, Goku calls this, Goku calls that, blah, blah, blah. Shut up! Uh, I don't really want to spoil it, but Dragon Ball Super, they love that there's this thing, they love to blame Goku for what happened in Dragon Ball Super. They don't realize that Goku hadn't did what he did. All our universes in that world would have died. But Goku pretty much helped save the world. But he, like I said, when you be at the top, you get a lot of flack just for being who you are. Goku laid back, chill, he just love fighting. And he gets hated on so much just for loving fighting and being who he is. And Goku, like I said, the most pure hearted um, saying out there. They got a lot of what ifs out there. Shout out to the people that do the what if stories. What if Goku was locked in the time chamber and was betrayed by everybody? Y'all better be glad Goku a good guy. If Goku wasn't a pure hearted guy, man, we all be dead. But Dragon Ball Z, ladies and gentlemen, is one of the best animes of all time, ladies and gentlemen, period, hands down. I watched a lot of animes, I think close to 300 or 400 maybe. I ain't gonna put no number on it, but I watched a lot of animes in my day. And to this day, Dragon Ball, I think I see that. Yeah, I do. Dragon Ball Z, I got the whole box set down there is my favorite anime of all time period now dragon ball super which is a continuation was a continuation of dragon ball z is pretty good too but it ain't got nothing on z 
you want your best power levels. Everybody hate on Dragon Ball Z. They love try to put different characters and different animes against Dragon Ball Z. But I'm sorry. Not too many anime characters can stand the test of time against Dragon Ball. Uh, they're the, probably the most, most powerful anime characters out there. Goku, Vegeta, Piccolo, uh, even my boy Krillin. Krillin getting hated on a lot, but uh, Dragon Ball Z, what can I say? I've not been there. I already said about Dragon Ball Z. The best anime of all time. That's why I get hated on so much. Before Mad, they they, 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 they the best, hands down. I've been on this earth for 40 years now. Thank you, Jesus, for allowing me to be on this earth for 40 years now. And I watched a lot of anime. And still, to this day, Dragon Ball Z is my favorite anime of all time. I can pop Dragon Ball Z in right now. And I, I won't do it because I know me. I, I, I'll stop watching and don't want to stop. I'll be like, dang, I got to stop. I got to go do this. I got to go do that. I won't be wanting to stop. But that's how good good and great Dragon Ball Z is. Dragon Ball Z get hated on a lot. It's the, probably the most hated anime. But when you're at the top, that what comes with being at the top. You get a lot of hate. When you're at the top, you get a lot of hate. And Dragon Ball Z, although it get hated on so much, is to this day. People gonna make up lists. Fine, that's your own list. But the most popular anime and the most best anime of all time is Dragon Ball Z. If you ever ask anybody, I talked to a girl the other day that don't even watch anime, and she looked at a picture on my phone, and she said, oh, I know who that is. That's off that anime Dragon Ball Z. I had Krillin with uh, with headphones on and with a disc in his hand. She knew who it was, and she don't even watch anime. That's how popular Dragon Ball Z is. If you start talking about anime, first thing, even people that don't even watch anime, the first thing that's going to come to their mind is Dragon Ball Z, because Dragon Ball Z is the most popular and the best anime of all time, regardless of what they try to say or tell you, Dragon Ball Z is where it's at, ladies and gentlemen, ain't nobody beat, beat Dragon Ball Z yet, it's the best in the world, so ladies and gentlemen, coming in at number one on my list is Dragon, Dragon, Ball, Dragon, Dragon Ball Z, here we go. Thank you guys and girls so much for watching my top 20 favorite animes of all time. Leave comments below, ladies and gentlemen, your favorite anime of all time. I really enjoyed doing this video. Hope y'all enjoyed. Thank you guys and girls so much for watching. I have more anime stuff back, coming back at you again. Uh, just been off my game lately, but I'm going to try to get back on my game. Leave comments below. Thank you guys and girls so much for watching. Stay tuned for more great anime videos on the way. Double Dragon 912 signing out. Peace out. Thank you.